Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to design a twin fish uh, from a picture or from a sketch like this one I have here. So, <coughs> uh, we are going to start from scratch, from the new model in Shell 3D, um, just setting the right lens, so something like a 5.8, okay. And then I load the picture as a ghost image, like this. So you can position the picture correctly using the mouse or the keyboard and resize it, like this. And when the position is OK, press Ctrl plus L to lock the image. And then it's easy to copy the outline, moving the control point with the mouse. The, you can delete the ones that are not useful using the Del K on your keyboard. And for a simple outline like this, uh, three control points are probably enough. Here we go. And then we do the same with the profile. And resizing, then zoom in and move it with the keyboard and control L when it's okay. Then I design the bottom stringer curve. Then the deck stringer curve. This one is fixed to horizontal, but I can set it with continuous with an angle to uh, have a better fit. And here I will. I need to insert a new control point to design the big nose here. So I select the nose point and then double click. This will insert, this will insert a new control point that I place here. And looks okay to me. So we could be more precise, but uh, I'm doing it quickly here, and that will be enough for now. Uh, I can set this tangent with a fixed angle to reduce the length without changing the other side of the tangent, then set it back to normal. And now we can see on this sketch. It even shows the uh, concave, double concave, and V areas. So we can do as I say, set a double concave in the center slice. So this tangent, we need to set it with an angle to do the double concave. You can, you can also change the shape of the rail as you wish. Um, I don't know exactly how should be this board, it's up to you. I'm just doing the double concave here. And then it goes to a single concave here, so I will insert a new slice, slice, a new slice here, and set it with a simple concave. So that it will go from double concave here to single concave here. And then it goes to a V here. So there is already a slice 
at the tail can move it just at the beginning of the V uh, to make sure I keep the same shape as in the center I can copy the center slice and go to this one and paste it and then design the V like this and I can I press the shift K to select two control points and then right click control point and align selected point to have um, a flat V and then uh, I need to also copy uh, this slice to the very tail of the board so I go to copy select the tail slice and paste it and of course you can uh, make the rail uh, thicker at the tail if you want or uh, make a sharper rail select the two points control point align points vertically to have a rail like this so we're almost good here we can even place the fin plugs so the default board are three plugs so i can delete the center one I select the plug, press more, and then delete. Okay, then I can select the side fins, set it to futures. I think the angle is a little bit too big, so let's reduce it and press it, place it precisely. Remove the leash plug here and let's look at the 3d plugs are correct but so the big nose is still too thick so what we can do to design a big nose uh, cleaner is edit the uh, curves that correspond to this deck one point here so in the in the top view, I can show the deck, curve, deck one curve here. Let's put it in blue and I can edit it. So it means that I will design it instead of letting uh, Shape 3D do the interpolation. Okay. And then the point is to make this blue curve here go join the stringer at the exact same position as the beginning of the beak here. So. I copy the X position of this point, then select this curve, double click, paste the position and press OK. And then make it at going right at the center. And let me reduce this tangent here, put it back to normal, set this one horizontally. And uh, maybe we can delete the uh, control points that have been added automatically and that are not useful. And I design, design the contour of the big nose the way I want. And then if you look at the slices here, you see that it's not very good right now. So you need to insert a slice right at the beginning of the uh, of the beak here and design it correctly so let's do something like this Up, we can move the control point with the keyboard to have something more precise um, yeah, I can remind you that if you press the shift K and the arrows K, you will have smaller steps and control plus shift makes even smaller steps. And to make sure I keep this shape until the tip of the board, I copy this slice and go to the uh, slice that is at the very tip of the board and I paste it. 
And I can make it a little rounder. Uh, you can set this one as a basic point. So you have something perfectly round. And now let's check the slices. Looks correct. Let's look at the 3D. Here we are. This looks at like a, a real big nose. Now we still have the swallow tail to do. So the simple, simplest way to do it is to add a 3D layer of type vertical cut and we set it at the tail like from x equal 0 to uh, about uh, 5 inches I think like this <coughs> we put the <coughs> inner outline uh, right on the axis <coughs> and use the outer outline to copy the fish tail like this so that looks correct. Um, usually it's far enough, um, especially because most of the CNC machines uh, don't even cut the solo tail. But uh, maybe you want to do better and have a real uh, solo tail with a round rail. In this case, it's a little bit more complicated. You need to use two 3D layers. Um, so, and, and there are several ways of doing it, actually, many ways of doing it. And I will I'm going to show you one of the simplest, I think. So for that, I will um, first convert this vertical cut 3D layer to a center layer. <clears throat> and the point is to use this center layer to um, cut the swallow tail and also uh, design the part where the swallow tail disappears, fading in, in the shape. So uh, for that, I will extend this layer, go to 3D layer, extend, reduce uh, of about yeah, 2 inches at the nose of the 3D layer, like this. Set it with an angle. Okay, and in the side view, I can design the depth of this layer like this. So that's the part where the solo tail disappears, and and that's the part. Uh, where it's deep. Double click to add another point. Okay, and the center layers have a slice like this, which I want to uh, design as a square. So I double click to insert a control point. Press Shift, select this two point, right click, align horizontally, and then I do. A vertical alignment here to have a square. So we have the cut of the 3D layer. And now I add um, I will add um, a twin layer to design the rail of the swallow tail. And this twin layer must have, must have the same length. So I copy the exposition here, press new, let's call it for the rail, let's set twin layer from zero to this value. Okay, so I can copy this curve. So control C, then I select this point, control V to get the same curve, and I set the inner curve uh, of this of the shoulder rail slightly inside 
the first uh, the first 3D layer to make sure the inside of the slice of the 3D layer is uh, is uh, is stuck at the depth uh, at the bottom of the first 3D layer. Oop, let's do it like here. And this is the outside curve, um, outside outline of the rail. So uh, make it um, here almost at the center, 0.1. Do it like that. Oh, something like this. And so you see this second 3D layer is cutting the edge of the first 3D layer and we can make the slice um, rounder uh, so first we have an option here called smooth edge text which ensures that um, the transition here is uh, continuous and I can set this one like that to have a round way, rail all the way Let's look at the 3D. Looks good. So that will work and it's pretty simple. If you have if you want to have a better finish here, you can increase the number of points of the 3D view. <coughs> like this, refresh. And then you have something smoother. Okay. Uh, now what is missing, maybe um, in the example I found, there is um, uh, there is a small channel at the tail, so we can we can design it easily using a, a 3D layer. So new 3D layer. Let's call it channel. So you need to use a twin layer and set it at the bottom and it goes from x equals 0 to you know, about um, 12 inches so the inner curve will be uh, almost at the center not completely because um, so with the center 3D layer if the inner curve is right at zero let's put it here then the center point of the slices is not fixed vertically but here we want it to stay on the bottom on, on the uh, yeah, the original bottom of the board so we make it slightly on the side and then the first point here is fixed vertically and then the outer outline can be designed like this I think uh, we can make it right inside the fins for example and then that's the slice of this 3D layer And we do the channel, I double click to insert a new point. You can uh, set the depth you want. And then you want this channel to fade away at the nose. So I insert a new slice right here. And I select all the control points using the Shift K. Right click control point and stick selected point to original shape to make the channel disappear. Here we are. 
pretty good. Um, maybe if I look at this um, on some examples, some shapers make uh, really straight channels. So in this case, you have something inside like this. And we can see control point align horizontally uh, and set the width you want like this. And here we are. So looks pretty good. Uh, if you want to push a little more the 3D view to make something even more realistic. Uh, we can add something that will that will look like um, like tinted resin using um, color bands. So what we do, I do a new band. Uh, first one will be all over the board, so I set the margin to zero, width to zero, so it will go all over. And I let's put it like a light blue and. and uh, set the opacity to open street to make it transparent. Uh, superposition order two so that it goes above the stringer. So it makes it light blue. Uh, I forgot to put it on the bottom as well. So deck and bottom, okay. And then I add another layer just on the rail. To make the overlap so zero something like two inches and I do the same color with 0.3 as the opacity take and bottom okay looks good uh, also what you can do if you don't want the darker rail to follow the swallow tail you have the option here open contour tail which make it like this and here we are you have something very realistic so uh, i uploaded this board in the warehouse uh, let me show you so you can download it so here is the warehouse and on my account to my Vilma here you can download the board. I hope uh, that will be useful so um, don't hesitate to contact me if you want me to design more boards like this. Goodbye.